Why I must never chase in the art of no forcing. Now I got a little story to tell. A few weeks ago I was playing poker, right? And during that whole game, I was in the flow. Before the game started, I affirmed to myself, I am in the flow and I am winning. Now, what I when I think about it and how I was acting during the whole game, it was, I was so nonchalant about everything and I was so open, right? I was so open to winning and I was so open for every possibility to happen. I was so carefree about the things that I was doing during the game. It was like, I didn't care. I was open to win, I was open to lose. But the funny thing, I was just winning all the time. I took all the other people's money. And what most people do, let's say they play a game of poker. They go If they try to do something and they go in with the emotion, I'm going to win, I am going to win. But they're not aware of the emotion they're putting inside of that frequency. You might be forcing it and you might be trying too hard and it might have the opposite effect, right? It's like, let's say you watch a few kids play right and they do something funny now you can't tell that kid to do it again and it's going to turn out to be the same result now the kid might now the kid might act up and be like no i don't want to do that again simply by the fact it was just in the flow doing his thing right the more you try the lesser results you will have alan watts even said that it's like the backwards law right and when you're not forcing things to happen and when you're not chasing everything because you got to understand when you're chasing and when you're forcing those two words they have a certain emotion behind them right when you chase and when you force you're coming from a, a place of desperation and you're coming from a place of lack and need those three the, those three emotions they are not abundant they are not prosperous. They are not in harmony. They are not in peace with what is real. Even though everything around you is in harmony, you're just being conditioned to live in that frequency. You've been conditioned to live in that and operate in that way. You're tricking yourself into thinking that is how it should be, but you're just causing yourself to suffer more. And the only one who can cause you to suffer is yourself, nobody else. If you put, if you put the blame on somebody else, understand that is you being that is you being weak. Now, when it comes to women, when it comes to money, when it comes to your goals, when it comes to your desires, it's always going to be better to stay present, meaning you have peace within you you have trust and you got faith and you got this vision of yourself doing it once you're able to step into that frequency and you're not in the frequency of oh my god i have to do it because if i don't do it then i'm going to feel sad that is when you start to lose Right? So if you're playing a poker game or if you're doing something, if this is not going to happen, I'm going to be mad. If you have that type of mindset if, and you're not aware of it, understand that is you're being controlled by an outer experience that shouldn't control you or bother you at all. Right? And the funny thing is that when you go into something with force and you try to chase the win and you're trying to 
you know, put and you try so hard to do it, trust me, it's never going to work in the magical way that in the magical way that if you're actually going in it with peace, abundance and faith, that is two completely different things. When you're chasing and when you're forcing, that is a place from fear. That is a place from lack. That is a place from, that. this is why I'm all about being conscious and being aware and paying attention to how you feel when you do certain stuff. Because if you're not paying attention to how you feel when you are in certain situations, you have zero control over yourself and you're not able to manipulate the world in the way that you want to manipulate the world at all. So pay attention to how you're feeling in certain situations in life. Because if you're running around and you have zero control over your emotions and your thoughts, they're just, they're just being dragged in all directions, that is not you controlling your life. That is a program you've been think to believe is real that is dictating your life. But you always have the power to change that program and do something different and change those beliefs because once you change those beliefs in your mind you will see yourself start acting differently now the world that we live in understand that everything that you see outside of yourself that is just an illusion that is not real that is just something that is being manifested in this world simply because the brain and you have to make sense of what is all going on right so do not attach yourself too much of the external things going on in your life try to take a step back and look at it reflect at it and see what is going on within you how are you feeling before you go to bed and how are you feeling when you wake up is the last thing you do before you go to bed and what is the first thing you do when you wake up pay attention to how you're feeling in those periods of your day because that dictate how what you're doing throughout the day